Hello, baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. Things have changed. Things have definitely changed. The air feels different. Leeway feels like a little bit different, too. We had so much happened. So much happened in the story of this game and the end of Act 1. We have a lot of side quests we can do here, but I don't think I'll be doing them just yet. Because we have some stuff to do first. We have some commissions to do. We have some bounties to do. We have some wishing to do. In fact... Hold on a second. Let's keep trying for Albedo. By the way, uh, the person who gave me all the... Um, uh, what you call it? The person who gave me the uh, gems. The, the Not the gems, what you call them. The crystals. Uh, Arcadia, Arcadia uh, I think they're called, Ar like on, uh, Arcadia of Pride is what they're called on Patreon, and I want to thank them for that very much so. Um, I, w I wanted to double check if it was okay with them, because again, y you never know if people are like, hey, I'm giving you this stuff, but I don't want to like be known that I'm giving stuff or whatever like that. that that's, it's up to them. Did I steal your flower? Wait, hold on a second, there's another- ah, children, come, Wait, come. what? <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. Madam Ping? I've been looking for you. <laughs> Madam Ping, this isn't a story episode. <laughs> oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Do you need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. Okay. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might Wait, give you. Wait, you're talking about the... the the Adepti? A gift? For Paimon? <laughs> oh, child. Yeah. You are so very modest. I feel that, that... Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't I'm allow like it. the type of person that, like, we got the reward we got was seeing that freaking awesome, like, scenes and cutscenes and story moments. That was the reward I got. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. Do we? That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine Wait. you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Wait, what? Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friend? Are we getting a new ability? What's happening here? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis, part of our illumination, if you will. Okay. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is this the ability to create hell. a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. So you can do yeah, with other things in too? In the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? <laughs> Indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. They have a lot of respect for Rex, don't that they? That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh? But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. I do that sometimes too when I get people gifts. I give them like uh, like a, a box and some wrapping paper and go, I just need some finishing touches, man. <laughs> just wrap that wrap that present for yourself there. <laughs> That's right. Finding stuff's what it we're is, good at after all. Kind of. Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed monster to prepare what I need. Who? What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are those, if I well, might ask? For starters... I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. Okay. You would have to dig downward, Great following here. the roots Great of shot. the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, Keep your eyes up, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since... Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. 
even more difficult to find a smaragdus jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. Okay. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Ah, <sighs> goodness knows if that child will succeed. Who's this child? Yeah, who's the child? Well, since you're an adeptus, Granny, the person you asked. Wait, who did you help, ask? They must be an adeptus too. Who did you right? ask? Hmm. Yes. She? I suppose she does count Who is as it? an adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many adepti in the <laughs> True. True. We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life after all. I'm back, Granny. Who's this? Oh, I don't believe we've met. I don't believe we have met, no. Ah, allow me to do the honors. Yan this Fei. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you already heard of the traveler and his traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Okay, this is, we haven't met Yan Fei before. Records. Great design, great outfit. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Oh, you know a lot. Before <laughs> finally defeating an yeah. ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. A shame that we didn't meet sooner. A shame. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately. Oh, really? But it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal she's a, advisor. She's a lawyer? Got a legal problem? <laughs> you can come right to me. Oh my god, we could have hired a lawyer. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Maybe we could use it, though. This is a really cool design, by the way, with the, the little thing she has here. Is like with the, it looks like it's a... What is that? It's like a like a box for writing stuff, maybe? Like it looks like it has a bunch of parchment paper You'll on it. You have to excuse Yan Fei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. I mean, it's fine. Paimon was gonna ask the same question. Yep. You seem really she doesn't seem as like godly. It's probably the phrase we're using here. An adeptus? Uh, I guess, kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. Interesting. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? It is like a, it's like, I, can't, I, I guess like there's, we're just learning that there's different types of adeptus then, like, they're not all just like these like really holy, like, you know, epic god-like well, creatures. my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Rex being like, yeah, go, go on. <laughs> Rex being like, yeah, do it. Anyway, <laughs> let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny... I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find so any So we have to probably find that, that one then. So, hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? We can find it. We can they try and find it. They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. 
It is only right that they are duly rewarded. We can find it. I know, Granny. You've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. What? Let me have a look. A book appearing from the sky? <laughs> She's awesome. Whoa, that's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? We're never reading that thick book, Paimon. Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Krussel, a Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should that's be aware of. That's so cool that that's the way she knows it. Snezhnaya. Because he went for, for legal advice and she's just giving out that legal advice. We love her. You know, confidentiality, who cares? So, we need help. I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. I guess we'll come with you. Oh, I didn't expect to be doing this me? today. I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Okay, wow. maybe the law is a bit different around here. Except is imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. <laughs> well, that's a first for sure. Yeah. Best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. I mean, she 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 seems pretty like nice. So is this what is it? What type of quest is this? Is it a story quest? It, it's it's a it's a just a side quest. Just literally a side quest. That's super. Okay, I didn't realize. Okay, so we can do this now. Um, no, that's not that's that's the wrong one. Um, where is it? A teapot is it what it's called? A fight for academic reputation. You meet a familiar-looking researcher signing, uh, sighing by the road. Go ask him what's wrong. So these are like more important story quests. What else do we have to like do here? We have like this to unlock to claim another one, do we? Uh, I don't know why that was doing that. Wait, it's because there's a new Archon quest, right? What the hell? What quest do we have to do to continue it? We have to... We have to fi fix, if do the prelude first. So we just do whatever we can in, in order of the next act. Uh, story quests. It's currently involved in some other quests. This is insane. Okay, let's go to the side quest then. Like we have it now. I don't want to break the, the flow of this. Press the wrong button to press the dragon's dog button again. Man, it feels so good always to play this game. It's just a really good game. <laughs> it's just a really good game. We have a lot of side quests we can do as well, which we're not going to be doing all of them today. Um, oh, there's a little chest here. Common chest as well, Why which is the best one you can want... get, actually. <sighs> wow, you got a Batman it's not my concern. Is she down below? I think she's down below, is she? No? Maybe not? I keep pressing the dragon's dog while run button. Which is- which I think is fun. I think it's fun that like, you know, you you have to take a few seconds to like adapt to the game you're playing at the moment. That's fun for me. I like it. I think it's fun. Hello. So where- where, where about- so it says talk to... Is that it? Oh, this person over here, right here. Okay, yeah, very silly of me. They're right here. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? How has business been, Crossel? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now. I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it oh, fashioned so into used a it? pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, 
Might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize. I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragda's jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhe Chiao before renting them to her. Okay. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable Jesus. by me to Ms. Zhe Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. That's a lot. Guaranteed genuine? With ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false? Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. She thinks everything from a law perspective. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. In that case, might you know where Miss Sher Chow lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll bark it on your map for you. Thanks, Crossel. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Thank you. We'll be off now. So it's up here then? I keep pressing the wrong run button. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, so there's so many side quests to do as well. This is this game is getting chunky. You know what I mean? We're finishing an act. In here? Is that where we have to go? Hold on a second. It says up here, talk to she Oh, she's higher up. Oh, up here. Okay, okay. We'll get up there. This is so cool. Like, it, it has a. Doesn't it feel like so different now? Now that we did the Liyue uh, Archon quest? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know people get annoyed by that when I get it wrong. It's Acorn quest. Um, it's crazy, man. It just feels different. This whole. E the energy is different. The whole world feels different. Oh, did you break it? She has her head on her head. Whatever shall I do? You okay? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Mr. Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? I can't lend them to you right now. Nice. I... I've lost them. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Yeah, why did you need them in the first place? I... My family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around, so we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me, but now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? Ah. Why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Maybe this is the part where we say we can help. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. Really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't we'll heard out. anything we'll from them yet. We'll help out, of course. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Miss your child. Oh, she's going to find a loophole? Would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure. I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm... That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao somehow. Yeah, that's the thing. They did sign a contract, so it's a bit weird, you know? True. Though surely there must be a win-win solution. Oh, well, if you can find some more jade, that's how it would be a win-win. Um, But, like, it's still his product that got destroyed. Right. I finished reading the contract. 
The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices oh into God. account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation of course, may especially end up being significantly it. higher as a result. Even higher? Yeah. Oh, like, no. we, we, we can only find it in one place. Uh-oh. Just how it looks like she's about to faint. <laughs> I can imagine. However, all of this is assuming that it <gasps> is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite oh. that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the jadeite is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. No, 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 no. The fact no. is, I lost the item, and no, no, I no, no, pay no. compensation for the contract. She can't. Just shout. I want to say something, right? There's people here who literally ask me for the most mundane, small things. One guy asked me to make him a chicken mushroom skewer, right? <laughs> Do not feel bad about something that's literally gonna f up your whole life forever. However much it is, I will have to pay it. No, 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 no. My family are merchants. No, no, after no. We'll help out. We'll help out. It's vital that we'll we keep out. our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. Stop! Lie! I'll go and inform Lie with us. the issue and then negotiate the amount of compensation. I don't think he doesn't seem like a negotiating type. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you Just first shall. touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. Okay. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. So let's go discuss the situation with Mr. Crossel. I guess we're gonna have to figure out something we can do here. There's so many quests to do around here, it's actually insane. Uh, we still have to do our freaking uh, commissions. We still have to do our um, bounties. Still have a lot to do. Oh, well, we can do uh, leeway bounties now, right? Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and To, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Possibly. Mm. About that. About that. You gave her fake hairpins, you you idiot. <laughs> That's why we're, we're lying. We're lying today. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Oh, God. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what no, I no, have No, no, no. It's more in the contract. That's what the deal is, Crossel. Jadeite? I, I just don't... <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. So we're actually just yes. like, to, she I actually just has to pay him. I guess, again, wrong, I guess it would be difficult to find new, new jade. It was in fact genuine Smaragdus jade I inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed or I pay back ten times the value. Jesus Christ, could you imagine him having All to right, pay back ten times the value? I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. This is kind of cool. This is a perfect way of introducing here, a character. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She better pay every last Mora that they're worth. She said she would. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. You can take our Mora. Take it. Take it. Take all of our Mora. 
Actually, let's talk to child. <laughs> child, we want some dinner. It costs exactly this much. Please wait, Mr. Child. <laughs> Ooh, well, I have just something to into discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. This is actually like an unbelievably cool way to introduce a character. Like, and just having a, like, like, I didn't expect a lawyer to be a character in this game, but also just having a character that, like, is using their particular personality to solve a uh, mission is what's so good about this game. They did the same thing with Amber, you know? They did the same thing with, like, since the start, where you have a particular character, you know, I'll lead you to the castle. Perfect introduction. We know who Amber is right away then, you know? DeLuke is Batman, you know? It's, it's, it's like... They did so, do such a good job by introducing characters with their side missions in this game. Miss Yunfei, what is this Bennett about? wanted to go on an adventure. Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? You owe nothing. Nothing. No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on Whoa. those hairpins may not be That would actually be Jade probably the best possible all. outcome, because Crossel is very, very arrogant. What do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked off and found them? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. If mere mortals come into contact with it, well... They'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. Wow. It most certainly would not be smooth to and the And it's touch. great that she has like this analytical and like great memory because again, it is fits her personality and who she is as a person. Miss your child. Did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were oh in your God, possession? She's like, she's doing full lawyer, full lawyer. No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Wow. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now! Paimon's all about right now. Scam right to his face! Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And if like, the authorities got involved, there'd be a contract involved that we wouldn't be able to prove otherwise, and he'd probably speed up the process as and well. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. There, that's true as well. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. Yep. He speed would things up. nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. A very vivid description. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. I mean, she's probably seen a lot of, uh, uh, crooks. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. They've had one more for every time I hear the word contract. <laughs> Feels like Yunfei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. I mean, again, she she understands the law. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. I honestly love it. <laughs> honestly love it. Anyone commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. There you go. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. And it makes sense for, for her to do this as well because... You know, this is the land of contracts and make sure her her it makes sense for her to be in Leeway. No problem. Just sign here and I'll sign too. Okay. I'm really interested in all now this stuff. I'll write your address here yeah. <laughs> and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <laughs> <Like a Paimon. laughs> this contract has so many pages. <laughs> Paimon's all out of brain juice again. 
such an ordeal. All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Need me to Not do anything? No, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve. I still can't get over how good the design is on this character. Away. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. You know what's funny? This is kind of like take your daughter to work day, but I'm the daughter. Miss Yunfei, <laughs> I have to ask, why are you helping me? Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo energy around Mr. Crossel. So oh, okay, so he, he has, has acquired fact, some, but he's some. using the fake ones. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm, where can we find someone who processes ore? Ah, I've got it. Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. Fair enough. If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. We talked to this guy before. We had a full uh, conversation with him. String of pearls. Thank you. Ah. No one saw that. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to... Oh, it, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is, yeah, when you see a lawyer come into your door. Matter? Surely not more spurious claims that, that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. <laughs> oh, She's getting everyone. I swear on all that is sacred. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezhnaian merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snezhnaian merchant named Crossel, you say? Hmm, I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. I mean, this guy's all about making money as well, I suppose. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? She's so smart. So oh, smart. Why, yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all. So I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. They're right over there, in fact. Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. Okay. Thank you, Chateau. I love how they use it again. Like, the, the whole world feels so full and real and nice to go through just because... Every character has a purpose, and you can call on them again, even though you called on them before. They don't just go away after their first side quest. Huh? If my eyes don't deceive me, the cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. So they're not what we're yes. looking for? It's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry oh, all the time. Oh, cross -o. I think it's execution is what we're gonna have to do, isn't it? I heard it said that Smaragdus nephrite is in fact a lower layer of Smaragdus jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin layer of separation, huh? If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore containing no elemental energy whatsoever. Is that so? Well, we might as well give elements a Oh, okay, we're using our own ability now, so it's not just take your daughter to work day anymore. Not a trace of elemental energy. different. But wait, how come Jitcho was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. These two stones actually look very similar. 
And Someone again, yeah, he's he's just he's looking to process him and get him out there. You know what I mean? Make some money. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. And I'm sure a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. All right, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossell? <sighs> Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. So he just walk. Yeah, like again, I love how they utilize old characters. We already know what they're about. We know that they can do this. You know what I mean? They, he, they, he's helped us before with this stuff. Not this exact Miss stuff, but stuff to do with this stuff. Might I be so bold as to Man, imagine the fear when um, a lawyer shows up to your door? If you could just confirm for me once more, sir, Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here, it says quite clearly, one chunk Smaragdus Jadeite, uncut. Then I have no further questions, but could I borrow the processing record and the stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. <laughs> this document shall serve She's as signed on, proof yeah. that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, ore that Mr. Crossell brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Hmm, yes. I see. I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, He's like so Ms. nervous. Yente. He's so nervous. But might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? I wouldn't say there's been an incident. Just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take these with me. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crossel will dare try to deny what he did. Jesus, yeah, I don't know what if we on have. On the contrary, yeah. this is far I was thinking from that we don't have full on. Case. We need to find something a little more compelling. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewel smith. Let me think. Oh my god, she just... I love the way the book appears from this guy. Her boots are amazing. Jewelry. Jewelry. Hmm. Nope. Aha! Got it. Sinksy. She often helps people to find a jewel smith. Let's go pay her a visit. Well, that was quick. How come you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. But the amendments made by the Tianchuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? I love when she does an impression yes, well, of someone. That's no obstacle, because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized them? <laughs> you sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? It's how the adepti become so adept at everything. Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Sing Si. I don't know, like, I feel like this is like, again, I talked about this before, but this is like my favorite type of mission in this game, uh, in any game. Um, I'm playing, you know, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. One of my favorite things about that game is like, you talk to a character and they go, man, like, can you find out some evidence on this guy who did this thing? And you're like, okay, I can try and do that. And then you, when you go, then you're like, where, who could I talk to? And you think to yourself, and you're like, and it rewards you for paying attention as well. It's like, I know this game like is very nice and it just gives, you know, it has a character with you helping along the way, but in Dragon's Dawn, they're like, okay, who, who would usually, oh, of course, Sven would know all about this legal stuff. He's a noble. And it's like, you talk to Sven because you've had, you've had dealings with Sven before and you've helped Sven before and stuff like this. And it's like, I love that stuff, the way like you can call back on previous characters to help you because you've helped them in the past. It's so smart. Oh, Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from I love that, yeah, every time she shows up at someone's door, they're like, what happened? Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? 
Prosol. Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jadeite. Okay. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewelsmith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? She's she's going in. She's like doing lawyer talk yes, here again. Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crosel wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself, the item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of oh. the ministry on it. Thank you, Sinksy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or yeah, something it's is in like, trouble? It, it, yeah, must be the nature of legal consultancy. Hmm, I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Oh, we've, we've talked about you before. With the snake around his yeah. Neck? What do you want to speak to him for? We might be getting Chi Chi again. Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands. Oh we can my god, she's so good. Up. She did this in like less than a day. So. Since this is usually the extra episode, I didn't expect to do this today. We might not have a time to do absolutely everything we want to do in terms of extra stuff, but we will try our best to get as much done as possible. Um, you know, I didn't expect to do this today, but I feel like it would have been really silly to start this and get the cutscene and then not do the, the actual mission itself. This is so pretty. I'm going to miss being in leeway all the time, you know what I mean? That was actually an accident, and I hope no one... She's laughing at me. She's laughing at me. Of course they are. Of course they are. Ch quick, change the look up. Again, thank you, um, Arcadia of Pride for this amazing outfit. Look at this. So good. That song is an American Dad song, and I almost said the lyrics to it, and it's not good. <laughs> is Chi-Chi here? Oh, it's just Baizu. My, my. To what do I owe the pleasure? I don't like no, this outfit I'm very much, guys. That if you're looking for our little chi the snake is cool, though. Out gathering herbs. Okay, we'll see you then. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well. Now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster go. to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality, and their illness will only ever get worse. Huh. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit-chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. 
I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed Someone a else came curiosity in? for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. Paimon thinking face. Oh my god, Paimon's adorable. Look at this, look at this. She's a chicken. She's a hen. I wonder, Miss Yenfei, if your pressing business might be related to this Snezhnayan merchant? Sorry, confidentiality. Uh, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Take care now. Yeah. Look, it's just his outfit's not. Look at this. Com look at it. Compare this. Compare this. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Of course he was. Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. Oh, we have evidence. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Like, look at look at this good design versus not. Like, I don't like his outfit. Now, it's a good design because it's his fits his personality, but I just don't like the outfit. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. I feel ashamed. What are you looking at? Sorry, that doesn't work when he says it. What are you looking at? <laughs> How is it every time you leave a place in this game, they give you just this beautiful scenery and instantly? So we're going to talk to um, your man again. And this time, he's in trouble. Because we have the mask, we're going to lament. Article 3... Paragraph 4 in the document it says that we can lament anyone who lies about d Jadeite. That's the rules. That's the rules. I have tri- I'm hovering over triangle, okay? Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? Uh -huh. I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, we have. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Oh, indeed you can. Oh, tell me. I wonder how much it's going to be. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Do the honors, Miss Yanfei. Of course. Um, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow 10 ah. times the original <laughs> transaction price in Mora. <laughs> this is a Phoenix Wright moment. Do, do, do. That's Tongan Rampa. <laughs> That's Tongan Rampa. Do, do, do. That's a Tongan Rampa moment right there. It's not gonna work, Phoenix, right? You can do either one. Sure. Wait, what? <laughs> Me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin Phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Exhibit A. Paimon. She's a hen. Deal with now, it. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable oh for my the God, sum, she got which her. is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. We're willing to look the other way if you give us all your jade. Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. Do not talk bad about Yanfei. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. This is take your daughter to work day. I'm, that's my mommy. You're in trouble. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler... Please produce the evidence in question. Only the yes, from expert witness involved in processing the ore. That's the jade this mystery. This is a processing record yeah. from the jade mystery, along yep. with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner. There you Chateau. go. You're going to jail. Jail for you? Prison? Bars? Seriously? Even I do the, the hand motion now where you hold the bars. Get used to it. Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. What's his so voice? So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? The, 
That's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? No, we're not actually. This is Take Your Daughter to Work Day, and you've just been taken to work as well. Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we do next? Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Who's, the, who's that voice? Him, So we have to, uh, something legally binding, so that's, yeah, the jewelry. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows What's that, that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more... Forgive me, I'm going to close my second. eyes when he talks again, if that's okay. I know this is getting off track. It's a great, it's great. I love what's happening here. It's really fun. But also, I need to find out who does that voice. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now. Oh, because oh, I do oh, recall oh, one do, final do, piece do. of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Boom, ba, uh, uh, uh. Do, do, do. Traveler, <laughs> would you do the honors? <laughs> this shall serve as decisive proof of our case. This is from the Bibu Pharmacy. What's this? Is that? How do you pronounce it? Pros, pros ED? The YouTuber that does really funny videos of the Pokemon? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Yeah. You just got destroyed. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in mm -hmm. serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Prison. You're going to Mr. prison. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? You look at that face as well. She's like, I, I know this. I had no idea. Oh, you had no idea, no Crossel. No idea, you say? Oh hmm. my god. I guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item. I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. Mm. And the proper authorities. And Xiao. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigation. Oh my god, she's great. She's great. This is great. What? Wait, wait. I... I knew. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, I... The hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that oh, really? what you were about to say? Is that what you're about to say? This is such a Phoenix Wright moment. You Put do Yanfei understand, Phoenix Wright. Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original Jesus price of Mora? Jesus Christ, and we're smiling in the background. Mr. Crossel, your answer please. My- I- 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 Is that three? Three million? Yanfei's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. That's legal consultancy for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had in laid on those hairpins was... was Maragdus Nephrite. B but I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Maragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. Well, guess who distinguished it? 
I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch uh, it again. Fair enough. Yeah, you, you don't want to die. <laughs> I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not Still sell pretty them. shady. And then to top it all off, Chichao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. Yeah, and you were gonna, you were, that's not, don't try to be like, I was just renting them out. You were gonna literally fleece her. Exactly. If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? Yeah, but God. I, I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off that it. That makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It's still a bad thing to do. You did a bunch of bad things to cover other bad things. <sighs> if word got out that I saw the pair of fake Excuse me for sneezing, sorry. My days in this line of business would be over. Yeah, but dude, you did a bad thing. You shouldn't be business if you're about to fleece this poor lady out of all of our money. All right, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. Yeah. According to the contract, if you, you want her to buy by the contract, you have to buy by your contract. The original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten, ten times. We'll say eleven times for damages and, and emotional trauma. Crusoe looks like he could faint any second. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, what? Twenty percent of that sum will go to me. Nice. Twenty percent. That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Le no! Some girl! For that. Don't! Uh, Ms. Jichow. No. You... No. However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? I... All right, then. Okay. This I see what she's doing. Brought me she's a lovely person. It is. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Maragdus Jade there you over go. to you. Everything turns out good in the end. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever. It'll do. And showing that she has a little wiggle, wiggle room with her uh, stuff as well. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yenfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. <laughs> oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? She is kind of like, sweet. she's so sweet, but she actually is kind of terrifying as well, isn't she? With the phrases hmm? she uses as well. Well, yes. It's actually kind of scary. we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. What are you asking of this if guy? If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do I get some that she's fine fantastic and us. she's a lovely person and she's great. I would not go into business with the guy that just tried to lie to me and fleece me. Personally. Personally now. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Let me, let you think for a moment? Do you want to get lamented? Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. All's well that ends well, eh? There was a lot of twists and turns on the way. Really great mission. Exactly. Really great mission, by the way. Usually Had a lot of fun. when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. And yeah, we can't say that we've met an adeptus like you before, for an sure. Adeptus. Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? Wow, so case, yeah, like, I love how it's like connecting back said. to that. Liu Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. Yeah. 
The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. That's actually so cool. Yeah, she, like her job as a legal advisor now is more important to this city than being an Adeptus. That's so neat. In any case, don't you think that the Liyue Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs Right now, for powers? sure. That's awesome. That's really cool. Paimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. Uh, I think there's more than just reason involved here, Paimon. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. So I wonder what this is going to entail, like the final, the finality of this mission. Um, I wonder. There's so many quests, man. We're going to have to do so many quests, which I have no problem doing. We're going to be doing them over the next couple of days, I'd say, and a few other things as well. Um, we have time. We have time. We have the time. Uh, we're talking about, like, other Let's Plays. Of course, the Pokemon Let's Play is going to be ending very soon, which means they're going to be going into another one. I'm thinking maybe Super Mario RPG or Life is Strange or Phoenix Wright or the Apollo Justice Trilogy. That's, like, the the next games uh, that I was thinking of playing. Or maybe something short, like To the Moon. Um, I think something that would be, like, a little bit shorter and sweeter is probably a good idea, especially since we play such long games. But we'll see. But I like long games. That's the thing. Ah, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? We were, thanks to Yanfei. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off then. Bye. Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? <laughs> if you have no wish to leave, perhaps she can like stay. Help she offers me. I, I, I can see she can get stuff done. We'll, uh, she can help me out in future if you want, for sure. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Go on. <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. A truly unique Adeptus. <sighs> Indeed she is. Leo has changed, and the Adepti must also Yeah, I love the outcome of all these stories. I love the outcome of what happened here. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah, Leo is not the same place I once knew. All right then. Uh, uh, things change, and like change is not more. always like back on topic. I believe an easy that thing. I still owe you a little gift. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? <laughs> How long does it take? Is a really funny a answer. Single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. No butter. So is this going to be something we can use constantly, or is this... Ooh, there we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh, goodness, who knows what might happen. Exactly. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively what do you mean? inside. What do you mean? Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this? I love a good teapot in real life, too. Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. What? what? Who is it? So we unlocked the Serenity Teapot. This miraculous teapot known as the Serenity Teapot seemingly can... So we have... The option to use the Serenity Teapot. Let's read it again. A teapot came from Adam Ping. There seems to be a whole new realm within. So you place it and enter the teapot. Wait, what? So we can choose our layout? 
cool isles floating abode. Oh. Or we can have definitely cool isles. Right? Maybe? Yeah. So we have a layout for our, our realm? What is happening here? What is this? It's the, the birdie. There's even a great big house in the middle too. No. Look, but there's just a whole load of nothing around it. <laughs> Go dig a bird living for now, I guess. Hey, there's a perfectly <laughs> good house right over there. Why well, <laughs> I have to live in a hole in the ground? We'll get you a chicken coop. Still, why is it so empty here apart from that house? Oh, wait a second. What is that? Wait, what is... So you can... Return from co-op to single player mode during a special challenge. Wait! That's about right. Well, what is this? Seems that we have a visitor. You oh. do, Tubby. Ah, it's Tubby! From a distance, Paimon thought it was just a huge finch. So you're the little helper. I have no idea what's happening. Are we getting our own house? Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. You know, back when we met in the Mondstadt Tavern, I had a feeling that we would meet again. It seems I was right, but it's still a nice surprise to meet you here. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Your journey may be far from over, but at least this way you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. So what is the Teapot Spirit exactly? Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look. This is, this is insanely in-depth for like a side quest as well. Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on. Open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint. Okay, so it's just about building up uh, uh, your own little realm. Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Mm, I doubt it. A golden eye. Don't doubt Paimon. explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. Same. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. Thank you, Tubby. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. After using and summoning the Serenity Teapot, travelers can interact with it and enter the abode within. Oh, I, I can't read this because some people say I don't read. Sorry, guys. I'll have to skip through this a bit here. 
Sorry, but no, I'm joking. Uh, travelers can also use uh, the summon pot while they're within its confines. Interacting with the Serena teapot, it is stable will allow travelers to leave it. Travelers can also directly open the map and interface and fast travel to any of the teleport waypoints to immediately leave the Serena teapot. That's a really good thing. Talk to the teapot spirit inside Serenity to learn about the manageable uh, manner of teapot related affairs. You can create all kinds of items from the creation screen. The materials used to create can be gathered all over the world. After obtaining uh, furnishing use, oh cool, to put in a position. Place furnishings to increase a ductile energy rank of your Serenity pot. Your ductile energy rank increases, realm currency will accumulate at a faster rate. Spend realm currency in the realm view of the purchase area as items. Once in a while the teapot traveling just salesman. Standing around. How absurd. We'll visit your abode. There's a chance that it'll bring some rare items and treasure with them. If you acquire the blueprint for furniture set, you can place furnitures, furnishings by batch. You can also still make adjustments to the individual furnishings when the batch placing it. Okay, cool. So we can, yeah, we can start that whenever, I think. Um, what, you want me to do this? And access the placement screen. Charles place to turn the the creation content the screen is against me. Yes. Is this online? <laughs> what the hell? There's a, there's a, this is a whole game. This is a whole, like, this is a different game. Let's put this right here. Let's rotate it a bit. Let's put it right here. Actually, you're here, looking out on the, the sea. Save changes, yes please. Hold the button to return from call yeah. I would most likely just to like to leave. I thought I said I could leave that way. How I thought I said we could leave. So I guess the teapot's up this way? I so I thought I said we could leave just by warping out of here. How can I leave here? How could I leave? How could I leave? I thought where's the teapot then like have to talk to the leaf? Do I just use the teapot in my inventory? Yes, there it is. That's simple. Okay, we can work on that as time goes on. Right now, um, I think it's a really cool addition to the game. I'm not sure how much I will use it personally, because I've never been like into like the whole idea of building a home and stuff like that. Like, um, I'm not sure if we will get around to that, but I think if we do get around to it, it might be fun. I think it's cool that they added that to the game. I think it's cool. Let's do our commissions. I don't want to talk about that mission we just did while we're doing our commissions. I think that would be a really fun thing to do. Start from up here. <coughs> I'm sneezing all the time, guys. I don't know what's happening. I might just be a sneezer boy. You know? Instead of a weezer boy. Um, yeah, that was really fun. And I love the way they introduce characters in this game. They always do a really good job of introducing characters well in this game. Uh, one of the things that tends to always happen, I find... It's a good song. Um, one of the things that tends to happen in this in these um, games all the time in this game is that they will introduce a character based off completely off their personality have to do something in like that's completely tied to their personality and you get to meet them in it like and get to know them a little bit better that way the same way we got to know Deluke the same way we got to know Amber the same way we got to know Zhao for the Adepti stuff like they introduce characters so well um, really like I think that if you haven't like you know there's people who haven't played these games that's fine you don't have to play every game but I really feel like, you know, there was a chance I was going to go my whole life without ever playing this, you know? There was a chance. And now here I am, playing this absolutely gorgeous uh, game with some amazing characters. Wind, hear me. Wind, hear me. I hope the others you know, we did a, it's, it's really, really, really cool. Uh, so we won't have time or anything to do our um, bounties and stuff. We can do some of those next week. We can start the Liyue ones next week. Uh, but for now, what we do have time to do is... Wait, what is, what is this mission? Defeat all opponents. It's down below here. Yeah, it's, it's below here. Because there's also something else I want to do as well. 
Hello, it is I, Jean. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. She's just a really fun character as well, isn't she? Oh. Time for a lament. Some of you guys need laments because you're a brat, man. That was nice. A lot of items around here as well. It's always easier to see the items when they uh, look like this. I think it's been like, the, the, again, the way the game has been presented like, has gotten better and better, and I assume that is with time as well. Because when we started the game, I thought like, oh, this is really good. I remember I said even like that mission that we did in the uh, with with uh, Venti and stuff. I was like, this is peak. This is where the game peaks. You know what I mean? Like, uh, not like I didn't think it would like get, not get better, but I thought like, okay, this is like this is peak video game stuff. You know what I mean? You you go on a quest, you find this uh, crazy dragon, you fight this crazy dragon. I was like, if this if this is how good the game is going forward, that's great. And then like, still absolutely fantastic. Hours later, like how many hours have we played this game? We're 10 hours away. We're next week. We have, will have played this game 100 hours. And it does not feel that way. And that's a sign of a good game. Just straight up. That's a sign of a fantastic game. That we don't even know. So what is it? Destroy the Hilly Shore Towers? I can do that. We might do a little Zhao style as well. And I think, like, you know, it is. it always is a beneficial thing. Um, if you're a Let's Player out there and you're like, Oh, will, what is my audience like? What does my audience want to see? Um... I think asking, like, what do you want to see me play is always an interesting question, right? But sometimes a better question even is, like, vibe check on this game. That's what I did with this game, you know what I mean? I, you can always tell, you know, when people are into a game or not. By asking them to, like, give their opinion on a game. And that's what happened here. I'm so grateful that I did. There was a time where, like, I remember I literally played this game first and I was like, okay, this is, this is, this is cool. I was like, I'd like to play a bit more. And then, like, I was hooked. I think it was as soon as I think I knew when I knew I wanted to play this game like forever was when I met um, Venti. I think it was when like we met Venti, and I was like, oh, this story is actually really cool. This world is really cool. Exploring this world is really cool. Unlocking characters. Actually, it might have been like, let's be honest here. It might have been like when we got Sayu. I think getting Sayu was probably a more. Um, would you guys say, I get, if you guys remember, you probably remember more than me. Like, I remember, like, being really happy. But I think my reaction to getting Sayu hooked me because it was like, oh my god, like, this is a really cool game. Like, and there's so much to do. And even now, like, adding a new feature to the game 100 hours into the game, I'm 100 hours into this game. And now we have a new build a freaking yeah. world feature. That did, like, let's be honest here. There's stuff they don't need to put in this game, but they have stuff for everybody in this game. They have commissions. They have daily, uh, they have bounties. They have a new, they have a mini games that you can do. They have uh, like boss battles that you can retry. You can explore this world, just travel around the place collecting items. Like it is so impressive, consistently all this effort that they put into this game. This time I'm gonna win with. There's a creature uh, creative writing competition held peri uh, periodically in Azuma. I believe the name is the novel is amazing. More importantly, the competition is hosted by Yai Publishing House, a giant of Inazuma publishing industry. I prepared this uh, competition by immersing myself in some Inazuma popular fiction to get a sense of what they are like over there. Of course, I've also uh, I've also I have an entire study full of literature, and I've read every single book in there at some point in my life. So, for my entry, I wrote a novel that in integrates the best of uh, Liyue and Inazuma culture. The one this one is a winner, I'm sure of it. I spoke with the Fate and Commerce Guild. They're sending someone to take my entry to Inazuma and submit it in person. However, there's someone who's failed to show up. I need to deliver the manuscript to the Fae Uncommon Skill for me. Sure, let's go. Thank you. We'll do that. Which is... In Liyue. Very simple mission. Very, very simple mission. Yeah, there's so much to do now as well. But I love how the energy has changed. And we might have raised our adventure rank too and start leveling up our characters. Like, there's so much to do, but I'm not going to try... I'm going to try not to get overwhelmed. And... Hand the book... Yeah. Although Paimon really wants to know what the big deal about this book is, what do you think? Should we take a sneak peek? No, it's it's not it's not our yeah yeah it's not we don't have permission to do that we don't have permission to do that yeah I want to like take everything piece by piece 
We're gonna take everything in pieces. Um, I woke from Chang the Ninth. He still writes. So I remember he said something by entering in a novel into a writing competition in Azuma. What did he write about this time? Last time I read a book, the Kishin kept ins ins insisting that we publish it for him. Even without being published, still uh, almost uh, had the millet on my case. At least at this time, it's going to go all the way to Nazuma for a competition. They probably wouldn't even be able to tra trace it back to me. Give it here, I'll get one of the sailors bound for Nazuma to take with him. I don't think Shang stands a chance of winning, though. I hear a novel called The Legend of the Sword is all the rage in Nazuma right now. The author's one the, is uh, that one from Liyue, though I don't know who it is. Thanks for bringing the book. Shang denied originally asked us to collect it. He didn't pay it up a front, so take this for your trouble. So we, we finished commission here, which is very pleasant of this game to do. The next question we have is over here. Um, which is defending the um, Ley Line Monolith, which is always very fun. These are really fun ones. Whatever it is, the Burger Boys. I did not even mean to press lament. I just pressed it instinctively. I was even like, I'm going to save this a bit. Look at that. Proper lamenting. How's everyone feeling today? A bit of lamenting going on? Who's next? By royal decree. No, that was actually good. We could just the turn this. Midnight Phantasmagoria, little change here. I thought a big boy would come out. Barbados, guide us. Barbados, guide us. Little Venti. We miss him. We miss our boy Venti. Was that all the commissions? I think it was. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then we go back to Leeway and we get our commission stuff. And then there's one more thing I want to do today. That I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's a Wednesday when I'm recording this, so I have to do this today. And that is get the items for the upgrade materials for a weapon for uh, our boy Sing Shu. Thank you, Thank you for so completing... much, Captain. I'm sorry for interrupting you, but we just have some stuff to do. Add um... Oh yeah, we need to raise our adventure egg at some point. Add Astra at... Sorry, Catherine. I'm going to like be speeding through this just because I'm so excited to get this weapon upgrade. I really am. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is, so over here, we have to go into profile. We've got lots of stuff to check out here today as well. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know we have a lot of red markers on us. We have to go into weapon, and we have to look at this. And we have to look at this enhanced thing. We have to send this. So to send it, we need this, the domain, and it's this one here, and the first rewards for the first one are literally as follows: the ones that we were just looking at there. Um, so, I, yeah, let's do, let's do the easiest one, right? Or let's do the level 36 one, at least. Yeah, this is our team. Let's go. This is our team. Beast team. Yeah, like this, I don't know, I really like the, 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 the mission with the, with Fe Feihan. Is that how you pronounce it, Feihan? Your cards are pretty influenced by slowing water, greatly increasing your skills, CD duration until, uh, until the inflicted hydro element is removed. Okay. Like I just, I like I had a really good time with it. Again, my, I don't mind those missions where you go uh, step, step, you know, talk to this person, talk to that person. Now talk to this person. Go over here and talk to this person. That type of stuff never bothers me. And I think I've talked, I've talked about it at great lengths how much I actually just love it. How I love getting in tune with the characters. How I love, you know, getting to know the people. How I love how they went back and, like, we're talking to people that we already met before. Really, this is helping us with the lament, let's be honest. Shadow Raven, let night fall. Was one. I swear by my sword. Is that the last one? It is. Nice. Then we get what we got. Team for Leaving in 92 seconds, or do we get a chest? Oh, over here is where you get the rewards, isn't it? Do we get what we came for? Pretty epic, though, isn't it? The way they do it. Obtained. 
exactly what we needed. Um. Wait, this is a, this is a higher level one though. I don't think we can do this one. Oh no, we can. Wait. Useless. I mean, we'll do this again because I don't think we're gonna get the same rewards, right? I, I think we just pressed do it again by accident. Disappear. Worthless. Care. Worthless. Care. Worthless. <laughs> Midnight Phantasmagoria. Look at that kill. Look at that kill. Oh. We're water bubbled. We're water bubbled, I'd say. Lament. Kill. Worthless. Ah, no. You're inventing new moves now, Bubbles. I don't think we're gonna get the same rewards, but it would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice. You know? Because that's what we came here for. Uh, yeah. I mean, cool. I mean, now we can upgrade our weapon for um, our boy. Look up. Hold on a second. Look, you can see Monstad in the distance as well. It's so gorgeous. Ascend. That's so easy to get this, these materials. And then we can add some materials as well. Look at this. <laughs> we have so many, so much, we have no problem with upgrade materials when it comes to our weapons, guys. Right? We have no issue whatsoever. And can we ascend this again? We can. Look at that, another weapon ascension. Get to level 50, am I right, guys? Is everyone else ascended? Or is that something we're gonna have to think about uh, doing as well? Which I have no problem doing. We have so many, so many upgrade materials. The only thing that would actually matter is um, the money itself. So to ascend again, we need these materials. Which where do you get these? Another in in the domain. I mean, we're here now. Why not get those materials, right? Am I right? Am I right in saying? Does anyone else need to uh, do their little ascension stuff? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I just want to see if we can ascend some weapons. Like, what's your level? Level 50. Enhance. Thursday. So, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, get in the Stardust Exchange some of those items, too. Um, what were your weapons, Jao? Level 50. Can you enhance it as well? Do you want to enhance it? So, it's the same kind of materials. Level 4. So, Rune Guards. And wait a second, so can, well, let's let's even check if we can ascend. Because it might we might need to kill some rune guards for this. Yeah, we need to kill some rune guards. Or we can get some of the status exchange. Right? <laughs> and then we can just do it more the the challenge the here. Damn That's actually not a bad, bad idea. Again. Right? Um, level 59. We could do this and get the stuff here. Yeah, let's just do this one again. We'll do this twice to get more upgrade materials for our characters, I suppose. Or maybe, like, three or four times. Oz, reveal thyself. So why not? If we're here, Let why not? Upgrade over. Look at that. Now look at this. You're all in trouble. Useless. Rain outlines your fate. Evil conquering. Cheer. Little lament. Never hurt nobody. No, little, little lament. Never hurt nobody. Boring. Worthless. Oh, I thought we had a, a, a power on visual. Oh, no, I'm water boy. You can't get me like that. No, you can't. I'm water boy. You can't get me like that. That's not how water works. Barbados, guide us. You know? Disappear. Lament time. Lament. Nice. 
Okay, so really, like, that's the... The main goal is to do a mission like that and get the upgrade materials for Boat Boys. For Boat Boys. For Boat Boys. So really... We'd have to do this like three or four times if we want to upgrade one of the weapons. We'll do it three or four times. Um, I don't want to sit here just doing this constantly because I feel like that's like... It defeats the purpose of like why I find this game fun. We don't have to grind for anything, you know what I mean? And we can always like worry about that later. Worry about next week, you know what I mean? There's always next week. I, I, I fail to think that we're going to have a problem with the level of the weapon upgrades at level 50 yet. It will happen. I have no doubt that we will have a few. I love that little kill the way he knew with the, with the circular. Like, I have no doubt that it will eventually happen. But I think right now, we're at a state where, like, it's, it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not trying to like discredit this game or say that it's gonna it's gonna get easy or whatever. Like, but I just think we're at a, we're not like in trouble yet. We're actually doing more. Oh, it's Oz doing that. I was like, oh god, <laughs> Jesus, Bo is doing great. Useless. Nice. And our challenge complete. Yeah, we'll do it like two more times after this. I'm most excited about like I feel like we're in like kind of like the in between oh, times in between like our conquests and stuff like that. Rain I'm excited to see where the next stories are gonna go because they actually have been like Midnight like one of the things that's Mercuria. actually very good about this game is that the side quests are really interesting. Jesus. The side quests and story quests are really fun. Meeting all those characters is some of my favorite aspects of these games so far. But I think they also do a good job of making like the, the main story still feel the most important thing in the entire game. Um, I feel like you know some games like work so hard on their side stuff that like. It makes the main stuff not as interesting, you know? And I think it's a but to me it's like they're both great. And I'm not gonna stop doing main the the side stuff by the way, because regardless of like I hear it all the time every single time I play this game. I hear it all the time. Um, you know, oh you know like and it, it's always like this thing where it's like and I'll say this probably for the last time, you know. The pacing of the game is how I like it. How I'm playing the game is how I like it. Um, and like whenever I hear people being like, like you know in the comments just saying like hey like you know maybe you should do this that's fine but when people like like I think it's just people should know that like this is this is what we're doing this is how we're doing if stuff gets locked away behind main quests we're fine you know it's not gonna be a big deal it's not gonna be a big deal we're not going away we're not changing Nothing's happening. I think we have enough upgrade materials for one weapon. I think that's what we're going to go with, and then we'll deal with the rest when we need it to. I think we're going to upgrade Zhao's because we use his physical weapons more than anything. I don't know why I came into here. Uh, and we also have to check a lot of our stuff, too. So if we enhance his weapon. There we go, another ascension. And enhance his weapon. I think I think we use his we use his special ability more than anything. His like weapon abilities or his his physic we use DPS with him more than anything. A level sixty uh cool. that's actually really cool for a level sixty weapon. Um What does it take to ascend your one? We can actually ascend it right now actually. Let's get to level 50. I need to figure out what we're going to use on Bennett as well, though. Cool. Um, okay, let's check all these other little menus here. So we have this over here. What's this? Idle teapot talk. So she has something to say. Okay, cool. Um, over here we have exploding population. The mon said, oh my god, it's an urgent commission to start that the fish population nearby bodies were abnormal lately. Get over there and check it out. Who knows? It might even... Wait, is she blowing up fish again? 
Can we do this? When can we do this, by the way? So we can't do this yet either. Um, let's see. Here we have this usual stuff as well. Nice. Nine? Claim all. Hell yeah. Not crazy rewards, aren't they not? Uh, sorry, I'm looking for something. Uh, doing all these little things here. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got an intertwined fate. We have to use it, of course. And we got... What's, what is this? Is this the teapot? Oh, cool. Little blueprints. Little blueprints, am I right? That's cool. Okay. And in this menu here, we got some mail. Pilot reward code redeemed. Yeah, someone sent me a few codes as well. Thank you so much for that. Oh, it was Malcolm uh, Con Conde. Thank you so much for that. Um, and I just like, you know, like, it, not that it matters anyway, because I think like sometimes I have people being like, like, you know, like I don't add, people just very generously give these codes. It's not like, I never like once like, like I'm on here begging for codes, you know? That never happens. Let's do this. I don't, again, we're, I, I want to, I, I want to get this character so badly. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. It's a cool looking weapon though. And we have one more. How much? There's six days left. We have, we have time. Yeah, that's fine. Black tassel. That's fine. We have six days left. We have enough time to get this character. And if we don't get them, it's okay too. It's okay too. Um, let's try out our new weapon, by the way. Yeah, it's actually really good DPS damage. Of course, like, you're doing this to do more damage, right? Nice. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video here. I know we didn't do our um, usual stuff today, but like, honestly, I didn't expect to do a full side quest today either. Uh, thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel. Thank you to the Chunky Baby Gangsters who are on the screen right now, or should be on the screen right now, if uh, I'm good at what I do. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and uh, I want to thank also the Can Never Pay the Baby Gangsters. Uh, Typhiro2, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Normal Kara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Nazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Poker Girl, Tedder, and Fruity. I'll see you guys tomorrow.